Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Maths Paper 1, question 5. So in part A here we have a function f of x, which is 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus 12x plus 3. What we've got to do is differentiate it, and then when we differentiate it we should end up with a quadratic expression, and what we've got to do is put that into completed square form, this format here, a times x plus b squared uh, plus c. Now we've got to find the values of a, b, and c here. So we're going to find a derivative of this function here and convert it to completed square form. Okay, so let's do the derivative first. So we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus 12x plus 3. So that would just give us f prime x is equal to 6x squared plus 2 6 is 12x minus 12. So this is our quadratic expression here. So let's just change that into a completed square form. Now to do that then, first thing I need is uh, just to factorize out this 6 here. So let's get rid of that first. So that'll give us an x squared here, uh, a 2x here, and a 2 here. So now we can deal with our quadratic expression here, where there's a 1 here, if you like. Okay, so the way we do this is to take the coefficient of x, which is plus 2, we're going to half it, which is plus 1, square it, which will give us 1, add it and subtract it. So in other words, we're going to do this. We've got x squared plus 2x this bit here, we're going to half that, which is 1, square it, which is 1, add it, add the 1, subtract the 1, and then we've got our minus 2 here as well. So really all I've done is just added and subtracted 1. So I haven't changed this here, it's still the same expression. So what I can do next is just take this part here, which is a quadratic trinomial part of it, and I can factorize that. So if I factorize that, uh, I should get x times x. I've got a 1 here, 1 times 1. I have a plus here, so I need plus plus or minus minus. This is a plus, so it's going to be plus times plus. And this bit here then is just going to be minus 3. So what I've ended up with here is 6 times x plus 1 squared minus 3. Now, let's just multiply that out. So we end up with 6 times x plus 1 all squared minus 3 6 is 18. Okay, so now we have it in the form that they asked us for, a times x plus b squared plus c. So we have to find the value of a, the value of b and the value of c. So our answer then, if I was to write out the answer, a is equal to 6, b is equal to 1, c is equal to minus 18. Okay, so let's have a look at part 2 here. We have uh, g of x here, and that's 36x plus 5. Find the range of values of x for which f prime x is greater than g prime x. So our g of x here is 36x plus 5. So g dash x is just going to be 36. Now we want f dash x bigger than g dash x. So our f dash x from the previous from the previous part of this question is this here. So I'm just going to write that out. So that is 6 x plus 1 squared minus 18, and we want that to be greater than 36. That's f dash x bigger than g dash x. So we've really just got to solve this. What I will do first, I think, is let's get rid of this 18 here first anyway. So we've got 6 times x plus 1 squared bigger than uh, 36 plus 18, which is 54. Let's get rid of that 6 now. So we've got x plus 1 squared bigger than 9. 
and a couple of ways you can go from here. I could square root both sides here, but um, so I would end up with x plus 1 bigger than 3 or less than minus 3. I could go in that direction. But I think what I'll do here is just square this out here. x squared plus 2x plus 1. I'll bring the 9 over as well, minus 9 bigger than 0. So that'll give me x squared plus 2x minus 8 bigger than 0. So this is what I want to solve. So we're really just solving a quadratic trinomial inequality. So let's see. Um, first thing you do is just let this equal to 0. You want to find the root. So let x squared plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. Solve this. That'll give us x times x. We have an 8, so that's going to be 4 times 2. That'll also give us a 2. Uh, I need a minus, I need a plus 2. Uh, I need a minus 8, uh, plus 2 when I add them. So this is going to be plus 4x, minus 2x. That should work. So that'll give us x is equal to minus 4 uh, or plus 2. This, remember, this here is what we want to solve, this one here. So if I was to draw that, it's usually a good idea to draw the functions here. So this is a quadratic trinomial. It's positive here, positive x squared. So it's going to look something like this. Our two roots are minus 4 and 2. And remember, it's greater than 0. Greater than 0 means you don't include the 0. So I'm going to put a circle around there. I'm not going to fill it out. Put a circle around here. Don't fill that out. We want um, y here. Remember, this is y to be greater than 0. So y is greater than 0 up here. These are the points that have y's that are bigger than 0, positive y's. So what we want to do is solve for, find the range of values of x, solve for x if you like. So what x values give us these y values? Well, it's going to be these ones down here and these ones up here. So my actual answer then is going to be, so the answer again, here is going to be x is going to be, remember this is uh, minus 4 here and this is 2 here. So it's going to be less than, uh, we'll do it this way, less than minus 4 and bigger than plus 2. Remember if this was, if this here was greater than or equal to, then I would have equal to here as well, but it's not. I'd also have filled out these, these little circles here. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. We have a diagram below and it shows t, the tangent uh, line to h of x. So we have this line here, which is a tangent to this function here, h of x equal to 2 sine 2x. x is between 0 and pi. Oh yeah, it's a tangent at the point uh, where x is equal to pi over 6. So the x value here is pi over 6. Uh, now a which is 0k, so this is 0k here, uh, where k is real, is the point where t cuts the y-axis. Find the value of k correct to two decimal places. Okay, so we have our function here, this function here, which is our trig function, 2 sine 2x, and from that we have a tangent. We've got to find the value of k here. So the strategy here is that we're going to find the equation of this line here. So in order to find the equation of this line, this tangent here, we need a slope and we need a point. So in order to find the point, all I've got to do is put pi over 6 in here, and that'll give me the y value here. So I'll have a point on this line. Now, to find the slope of this line here, to find the slope, all I've got to do is, because it's a tangent to this function here, all I've got to do is differentiate this here and that'll give me the slope at any x value, but we know the x value is pi over 6, so I can put pi over 6 into the differential of this function here, and that'll give me the slope of this line here. So I'll have a slope, I'll have the point, and that'll be it then. I can just find, I can put 0 into that equation, and I can find k. So let's start all of that anyway. We have h of x is equal to 2 sine 2x. So let's differentiate that first. So we want h dash x is equal to 2. If you differentiate sine x, you get cos x. We don't have a sine 
x we have assigned 2x so we've got to use the chain rule so we've also got to differentiate this bit in here so that's uh, multiply that by another 2 here so our answer here is going to be 4 cos 2x okay so this gives us the slope of any tangent but we want the slope of this particular tangent here so what we've got to do is put in pi over 6 we know that the x value here is pi over 6 so put in pi over 6 into this that'll give us the slope of this line here so let's do that so we have h pi over 6 is equal to 4 cos 2 times pi over 6 so that's 4 cos pi over 3 and the cos of pi over 3 that's the cos of 60 degrees is a half so a half times 4 is just 2 so I now know that the slope of that tangent is 2 okay so we have the slope then so that's the slope the slope of I think they call it t yep so that's the slope of t so the next thing I'm going to do is just find uh, a point on the line find a point so I know that um, the x value there is pi over 6 so let's just work out what the y value here would be so h of x is equal to I'll do that over here actually so h of x again is equal to 2 sine 2x now we want h of pi over 6 so that's 2 sine 2 times pi over 6 so that's going to be equal to 2 sine pi over 3 the sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2 so that's 2 times root 3 over 2 so that's just root 3 so in other words this point up here this point here is pi over 6 root 3 so the point is pi over 6 root 3 so I have the slope here of 2 and I have a point on the line as well so now I'm just going to find the equation of t the equation of that straight line so so the equation of a straight line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so we've got y minus root 3 remember this is our x1 y1 here so y1 is square root of 3 our slope is 2 and we've got x minus pi over 6 here so let's just multiply that out a little bit let's see we've got y minus the square root of 3 is equal to 2x minus pi over 3 when we multiply it out okay next thing we've got to do is the question asks us actually to find what k is here so you can see here that uh, the point here is 0 k so if we put 0 into our equation of this of t here that should give us a y value of k so let's put 0 in for x so we're putting 0 in for x so let's just do that here so we have um, y which is k minus the square root of 3 is equal to 2 times 0 minus pi over 3 that'll give us k here now is just equal to root 3 minus pi over 3 and that'll give us a k value finally of 0 0.68 if you do that on your calculator 0 0.68 and that's two two decimal places I think they asked us for this the two decimal places yeah, so k to two decimal places is 0 0.68. Okay, and that's it for this particular question.